Coming up on Future 360, we visit a sustainable city of the future. With its entrepreneurial spirit and culture of investment, Toronto is poised to become a world leader in urban sustainability and clean technology. From Canada's greenest conference centre to the lead gold retrofit of the TD Tower, Toronto is bursting with smart green innovation, like the Mars Discovery District, the world's largest urban convergence centre and innovation hub, which offers mentorship, education and capital to thousands of entrepreneurs. Jonathan Dogtrum, practice lead, for clean tech at Mars Discovery District. We have experienced entrepreneurs helping out these new ventures. And what we're seeing is that we're really able to help speed up the commercialization process with new innovation and create more jobs faster in the clean tech field. 130 clean tech ventures are currently based at Mars, like tech company Kanata, which produces high quality sustainable chemicals, and Prodal G, which transforms CO2 waste into renewable oil. There's very much an innovative culture in Toronto, as you can see with this building and what's been done here, that's, that's a, a great example of it. Access to global capital is key to ensuring Canadian clean tech companies thrive, and this is provided by the Toronto Stock Exchange and TSX Ventures. Robert Peterman, Toronto Stock Exchange, TSX Venture Exchange, Head of Business Development, Clean Technology Sector. If you think about mining and rare earth minerals, there's a strong connection to clean tech that way. And then if you think that 35% of the world's energy companies are public on TSX and TSX Venture, then you've got another connection to the investors in this marketplace. And that's why we've really broken off uh, the clean technology sector and, and started to talk about it to the rest of the world. The venture market has been highly successful in nurturing local clean tech companies. 35% of the companies listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange are graduates of TSX Ventures. We've always felt that with, within clean tech, walking the walk is more important maybe than even in some other sectors. So being involved, helping to incubate the companies, and we also have a large investor day where we bring together high profile public companies as well as some of the highest profile private companies and put those in front of the leading investors in Canada. Toronto's corporations are also seeing green. N-Wave operates a deep lake water cooling system that draws water from Lake Ontario to cool the city sustainably. Andrew Wilcox, Manager of Business Development at N-Wave Energy Corporation. N-Wave's deep lake water cooling project was designed to replace electric air conditioning equipment that's traditionally used in buildings, uh, replacing it with this renewable resource we use at the bottom of Lake Ontario. Essentially, we're air conditioning our customer buildings using the cold water from the bottom of the lake. N-Wave provides air conditioning to over 140 buildings in Toronto, reducing their energy costs by 80 to 90 percent. The system really is a renewable energy source. What N-Wave has managed to do as, as a private company is shown that renewable energy can be the backbone of a district energy system and it can be profitable. Planet Traveller may look like a regular hotel, but like many things in Toronto, scratch the surface and you may just uncover some neat green innovation. Uh, my name is Tom Rand and I'm the senior clean tech advisor at the Mars Discovery District and I'm also an active entrepreneur and investor in the clean tech sector. The idea behind Planet Traveller is we decided to build what we're calling North America's greenest hotel. And by green, we don't mean, you know, organic granola for breakfast and recycled toilet paper. We're talking about carbon. So our carbon emissions are 75% lower than business as usual. And for me, the building was really a test bed for me to find out what technologies could deliver economically those levels of carbon reductions and use that as a guide for my own investing. Planet Traveller uses low-risk existing technologies like solar thermal for water, solar PV for electricity, heat-grabbing power pipes, LEDs and geothermal for heating and cooling. There's a, a culture of clean tech innovation that we have historically. And then I think layered on top of that, you've got the Green Energy Act. This is Ontario's really big move to be a player in, in the clean tech sector, which creates, these are big projects, but it creates an atmosphere in which the rest of the world is looking to Ontario and saying, there's something happening there, we should be paying attention. This unique combination of innovation, investment and smart government programs is ensuring Toronto is at the epicentre of the global cleantech industry.